Good morning, you guys. So as I'm kind of analyzing the past couple of months or a few weeks of our lives, I think the theme is mindfulness. Things like conscious and respectful and peaceful parenting, just the flow of our day. Like I said, being more peaceful as parents, as a couple and just kinder to ourselves. Let's just go through a mindful day together. For breakfast, I'm actually gonna be making one of Ellen Fisher's recipes because I was getting kind of bored with a lot of our oat recipes and breakfast recipes, but I still wanted to do something like oat based, just different. So I asked her for her kids' favorite baked goods recipe and she said, check out my blueberry crumble muffins in my Epic Vegan Cravings ebook, which fangirl I already own. So that's what I'm gonna be making for breakfast. Let's get going on breakfast because I'm so hungry, you guys, and I cannot wait to try these muffins and drink my smoothie. For the blueberry crumble muffins, you will need three and a half cups of oat flour, one tablespoon baking powder, half teaspoon baking soda, a quarter teaspoon salt, one third cup applesauce, two tablespoons almond butter, one teaspoon apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon vanilla, three quarters cup maple syrup, three quarters cup unsweetened plant milk of your choice, and one cup of blueberries. I used frozen wild blueberries. And essentially what you're gonna do is blend your oat flour and mix all of your dry ingredients in one large bowl, mix all of your wet ingredients in another mixing bowl, and then combine the wet and the dry ingredients. Meanwhile, preheating your oven to 370 75 degrees Fahrenheit and then at the end once everything is combined you'll add in your wild blueberries and mix well I did omit the coconut oil from the recipe and instead I lined my muffin tin with parchment to avoid any sticking I love using applesauce sometimes in my baked goods instead of bananas so this was a nice change for me this recipe turned out so delicious, so I highly recommend going to Ellen Fisher's website and checking out her Epic Vegan Cravings ebook to get the written recipe and all of the juicy details. In case you're wondering why these did not bake a full dozen, we did dip into quite a bit of the batter and enjoyed it, and it was so good. And just for the record, these were a huge hit with the kids. They only lasted two days. Baking from scratch is definitely one of my favorite mindful activities where I can just let go, lose track of time, and it always comes with such a sweet reward. Iodine looks a little bit like fish food. Pow! Pow! I've been obsessed with and super interested in amla powder lately, and I've been adding it to our green smoothies daily for the past few months. You can also use it to make homemade facial treatments and hair masks, and I've been dabbling in that, so I will be sure to share when I find something effective. And other than that, our green smoothies pretty much remain consistent, and I just like to dabble with different superfoods depending on what mood I'm in. I should also note that amla has been shown to be just as effective as statin drugs for reducing cholesterol levels. I have also been really mindful and intentional with my fitness lately, not just weight training, but trying to switch things up and remembering to have fun. So I've been doing some dance cardio and it really passes the time. I've been loving it so much. So don't be afraid to switch things up. You want some berries while you wait? Can you say strawberry? Strawberry. Yeah. Wait your strawberry you go. Oh, a blueberry. Let's face it, as a busy mom, I do not have very much time these days to sit down and cozy up with a book, but what I am very good at is multitasking. <laughs> as soon as I get a spare minute, I will grab my phone, flip open Audible. I am an 
audiobook junkie. I've been using and loving Audible for several years now. I love it because as a member, you get a credit every month, which essentially means you get to pick a new title every single month to own and keep forever. So I've got over a hundred books on here and many of them I go back to and refer to all the time. Audible has all kinds of genres. They also have podcasts now and other cool features besides just the audiobooks. It's great to, again, like I said, be a busy mom and be able to be listening to a book rather than worry about, oh my gosh, am I gonna have time at bedtime to even get five minutes in while I'm also nursing a baby and I'm super tired and exhausted myself. So audiobooks are definitely the way to go these days. If you guys are interested in checking out Audible, they are today's video sponsor, so I'd like to give them a huge shout out, a big thank you. So new members can try Audible free for the first 30 days. If you head to audible.com slash eatmoverest or text eatmoverest to 500-500, you can redeem this amazing offer. I am such a huge fan. I can never drink it out of the Nutribullet cup. It like has to go in a pretty cup or it's not a smoothie. This is typically the time of day where I kind of let out a sigh of relief. It's around 4.30, 4 in the afternoon. Usually Dusty will take the kiddos for a nap drive and I get the house to myself. Sometimes he's gone for 15 minutes, sometimes 45. Either way, the first thing I do is make myself a snack, grab my phone, and listen to whatever my latest audiobook is. Honestly, I kind of love the mindless chores of the day because Again, it's a time when I get to listen to a great audiobook. Right now, I have two brand new downloads that I am so excited about. So the first one I got was Peaceful Parent, Happy Kids. You guys know that I was recently on the Ellen Fisher podcast, and one of her other guests was Dr. Laura Markham, the author of this book. After seeing how Ellen and Andrew and their family went about their day. I just really feel like there's something to it. And I have always kind of been on the outskirts of this peaceful parenting circle. So I'm really trying to take a deep dive into the center and figure out how exactly to implement it and to be more mindful and more conscious of the way that we're parenting. That's exactly what this book is about and I absolutely love it. The other one is Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. So I have been a Jay Shetty podcast junkie since I would say about January 1st, actually. Um, Dusty's mom mentioned listening to his podcast and I wasn't really sure because I have a couple favorites and I don't like to veer off of them, but I gave it a listen and I was like on a run and I was like taking notes the whole time. So huge fangirl and I just downloaded his book. Um, I'm super excited because anything in the self-help category is like my bread and butter, my jam. So I'm super excited for that one. If you guys are multitasking mamas or queens of efficiency like myself, give Audible a try. You will not regret it. Ah, yes. <laughs> we have been obsessed with veggie sandwiches lately ever since coming home from Maui because when we were there, Ellen was making us the best sandwiches and they're simple and basic and straightforward, but they really truly check all the boxes and they taste so good. So I'm thinly slicing some tomatoes as well as some cucumber and I'm gonna add some tender greens as well as some sauerkraut, which me and Max are a huge fan of, Dusty not so much, but if you are, I highly recommend it because it's so good for your gut. And then I'm also adding some avocado spread on one slice of the bread and some hummus on the other for those healthy fats. And we are big fans of Ezekiel bread because it's USDA organic and sprouted and contains all of the grains 
straight from the Bible. Go check it out if you haven't already. We love it because it really goes easy on the gut, especially if you're perhaps sensitive to gluten. You might try this bread because, like I said, it's organic and non-GMO, and it tastes amazing. I recommend storing it in the freezer just because it does tend to mold easily, which is actually a good sign. It means this is a super good fresh bread. I also like to add a dusting of nutritional yeast at the very end just because it's great for B vitamins, protein, and iron. And on that note, if you're wanting an added protein boost, Boost, try adding some thinly sliced tofu and or tempeh to the mix. I am all about the kraut. This is a local one. It is so good. It's got cabbage, turmeric, ginger, and Himalayan salt. They actually carry it at Whole Foods, but it's made locally at the farmer's market in Sarasota. Dusty wants nothing to do with sauerkraut, and me and Max are obsessed with it. It's so good. Fast thoughts. Ready? Go. Mm. Organic medjool dates. I get these from the Bautista family organic date ranch in California. They ship really fast, like within a couple days. They're so juicy and so good. They're much better than the store. And this is usually what I use. I make date paste for a lot of our baked goods. Add it to oatmeal. Mm. I love dates. When I snack on a couple, it seems like after every meal. So Dusty recently made us our very own cold plunge. We actually just dove deep into cold exposure, cold therapy, ice baths, and the health benefits, beginner tips if you want to get started, why we're doing it, how we made our own. If you guys want to go check that video out, I highly recommend it. I am by no means an expert, and I do not like the cold, but Hey, this has seriously taught us that we can do hard things. Go give it a try. For both Dusty and I, our biggest reason for wanting to put ourselves through this torture is to truly learn how to conquer our fears and master our minds. And I can definitely say it has helped me to really focus on my breath, not just during the cold exposure, but throughout the rest of my day. And it has helped me to react differently in difficult situations. How'd it feel? Very, very invigorating, like, so good. What you guys working on? Well, we're just finishing up these garden beds. Good job. Mm. Hold on. Mm. Do the whole line and then we'll cover it, okay? You put them right here. Good, give me five. These are cool season crops. Mm. We'll see how they do. Max, you're doing really great. Max, show us your shoes. What kind of shoes did you get? Um, Kate. Are those your baseball cleats? Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh -huh. Rain barrels, compost, even though I've just been throwing our compost out in the jungle. Oh. They do have a compost bin here. And then our rain barrels. And I was like, man, how long are these gonna take to fill up? No joke, it was like one average rain and these things were full. So we are going to get our hands dirty in the next few days, planting out the garden. We're super excited. And if you guys would like to see a garden build and seed planting extravaganza video, comment below and let us know. For now, I will link below the seeds and the garden bed planters. The seeds I got from True Leaf Market. The garden beds are from Vigo Garden. They're super cool because they're modular and they're nine in one. So you can shape and configure these nine different ways. We had a long productive day. So 
Thankfully, dinner is leftovers. We're reheating our immunity veggie soup. We recently added it to the meal planner. We will link it below for you guys. It's so good. It's got onion, garlic, ginger, carrot, celery, and instead of sweet potatoes, we added regular potatoes this time, as well as quinoa. It also has chickpeas. Tonight, I added a little bit more liquid because the quinoa tends to soak it up, so we made it a little bit more brothy and then added torn up curly kale and let that steam at the very end. And Dusty also baked some extra firm tofu that we marinated in our favorite coconut aminos. This always gets the kiddos to enjoy their tofu. It's so yummy. And if you wanna try our tofu hack, try it freezing your tofu after you open it and then let it thaw for a few hours and it gives it a more meaty texture. But for this, we marinate it in the coconut aminos, pop it in the oven at 350 and bake it for about 10 to 12 minutes, flipping it, and then do another about 10 minutes on the other side. All right, you guys, that is it for tonight. Don't forget to check out Audible. I have everything linked below in the description so you can get your first 30 days free. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye. Bye. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 